And so he got a wide body Civic, well he built a wide body Civic and then I kind of fell into it too just because I was the younger brother, you know. So then my parents bought me the hatch and then we kind of just started doing work on it. And uh, it's gone through a couple iterations of like different front bumpers. It's always been black. Okay. Uh, always been the stock black actually. Um, the last paint job had a little more pearl in it, but it was never anything crazy. I never went orange. <laughs> I figured black was nice and subtle and the cops didn't see it. So, okay. uh, and it was a DX for a long time. So I had a whole 96 horsepower, which was real oh, cool. On a, on a good day. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get momentum before hills was nice. <laughs> and why keep it after 17 years? Uh, I think probably because I've got so much money in it now. <laughs> <laughs> then there's that, right? If I sell it, I'm not going to get any money back. So I love that honesty. Okay. I think that, and I mean, obviously at this point, after that long, I, I think it'd be crazy to sell it. I mean, unless right. I was getting something better or kind of building up to get something better. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the truth. I mean, it's pretty sentimental at this point too, you know, right. after that long, so many memories. All right, man. So what do we got going on in the front? Uh, all right, so recently I put on the J-Blood front bumper. So it's that 96, 98 bumper, but it looks kind of like the SI front end with the big lip, but it's all molded into one piece. It's so nice, um, so nice. And recently I repainted the car probably uh, two years ago now, a year and a half ago, okay. but I had to custom mold all this stuff up to match the wide body so it kind of flowed a lot cleaner. Wow. Um, the one thing I do like is that this bumper fits the, the rest of the kit pretty well and mm -hmm. it feels a little bit stock if i can say that I mean, yeah not yeah, no, no, necessarily definitely. but it has that like old 90s clean but boxy fender no definitely yeah 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 and you said it the oem honda color so it's just a, yeah so it's what's the name flamenco, of the color flamenco black pearl oh gotcha I think okay. is the name of it right mm -hmm. um yeah oh okay and then you just got the black house headlight. yeah the ctr headlights CTR headlights. just so beautiful man yeah, I have a different hood that I need to get painted. I'm actually supposed to take the car back to paint in a couple weeks, but I'm a little afraid to because last time it was there for almost a year just because oh. it was like a homey deal. So it's like a friend of a friend doing oh. it. And then my car basically sat there for almost a year and obviously yeah. I was not happy about that. Yeah, sometimes but it's better to just I know, pay. I, and exactly. I saved some money, but I paid for it by not having my car for a year. The reason why you have kept the white body, you... Um, you said it was cool back in the 90s, we're in 2019. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times after uh, 2000, I got thumbs downs from all the JDM people uh, laughing at me, but whatever, I kind of just kept doing my thing. Um, yeah, this style was really cool back when I bought the car and then obviously things change, but now they're back again. So it's kind of funny because now everyone's back with the rivets and everything, but this car's had wide body basically 17 years. Um, and a clean, white body yeah molded i think, white I think body. again too like the the black helps a little bit and that everything kind of flows on the hatch pretty well mm -hmm. um i've definitely seen the same kit pretty obnoxious like my brother's was pretty crazy too like nothing not everything was molded so you had more of like even more boxiness happening you know right um but it still looks pretty cool orange and it had that crazy like <laughs> yeah. rally look to it you know wow. so what's the what's the uh, white body all right so Everyone's gonna hate me for saying this, but it is a Wings West version of the Feels kit. Mm. Um, I couldn't afford Feels metal wide body fenders back when I was 17 years old, so I went with Wings West. Which makes a thousand percent sense. Yeah, I mean, nowadays I wish I could find the Feels kit. I've been looking, honestly, for the last six years and those kits just mm -hmm. do not exist. No, Like no. anywhere. I have like friends that go to Japan all the time and they can't even find them. They're basically like, you probably need to buy their demo car. So that's not gonna happen. Um, well, people just used to trash them. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, and I mean, there's definitely. I'm sure they exist. I saw one come up on eBay a couple years ago and sell in the uh, UK, but I, I like wasn't fast enough to try and get it. Um, plus, I'd have to kind of tear the whole car apart and do it over again. Right. So, at this point, it's like I'm just kind of starting to buy real nice feels things mm -hmm. and then put them together, and it's a little bit of a replica car, but it's all right. But it flows perfectly, so. So Wing West, okay, cool. Audi, let's talk about your wheel and tire setup. What do you have going on? Uh, okay, so 